I run over 25 plus AI agents in my businesses. And a lot of people ask me all the time, which are your top AI agents? And in this video, I'm going to show five that are very important in my business. So let's dive right in. So let's start with number one. It's my Gmail labeler. It will automatically label my incoming emails. So how that is done is that you have a Gmail trigger at the beginning. You need to add your credentials over here. It will fetch all my emails every minute. And then it will get the latest email over here. <coughs> because when you are triggering this note, you will get not all the information information of the email. So you want to basically have a get message note over here to get all the information from the last email you got. Then I have an open AI note where I basically have a prompt in um, where I say, hey, you are an AI assistant that classifies emails based on the content and I will label them based on work, personnel, spam, but you also can do finance, for example, or clients, whatever you want. So basically this agent will output one of the three labels. And then I say, all right, if the label is work, then please continue this path. If the label is spam, then please continue on this path. And over here, I have the note where the label is added to the email. So you won't see it right now, but basically you have all your labels over here. You need to add the label also in your Gmail account, and then you can find it here. And when a certain email is looks like spam or work, then it will label that automatically. That's number one. So number two is email summary. This will give me a email summary every morning when I start my day. So basically it's triggered based on the time, for example, every morning at nine o'clock. Then we'll make sure that the time is there. So the AI agent automatically do not know which time you are right now. So you need to define tomorrow, today, and now. This script is doing that. Then it will get all the messages from today and um, uh, before today and tomorrow. So basically it's uh, all the messages from today. Then it will aggregate all the data that I need to then make the summary. So I need the from, I need the subject, and I need the text of the email. Then I'm basically cleaning up all the information that we'll get from the body so that it is a clean uh, text so that the AI agent can easily see, all right, um, this, this is the most crucial information. So what I will say is you are a AI assistant summarizer and you summarize a full day of emails for a bus, bus, busy professional. Read the emails below and create a clear summary in bullet points. So that will create a small summary and it will send it to my email. So this way, every day I have a summary of my emails I need to answer. So that is basically number two. So you can also download all these um, agents if you comment down below five and then I will uh, send you the information. So the next one is basically an MCB trigger that goes into Google Sheets. This will let you talk to your Google Sheets easily. So what you need is you need a connection with the MCP server trigger to Claude. Um, I'm not going to tell you how you can do that right now, but you can check YouTube and check Google. And there's a lot of explanation on how you can add Claude to NA10. And basically what will happen is that you can talk to Claude in a conversational way and it will go into Google Sheets and update the sheet, or it will create a new row, or it will get a lot of information, or it will delete a row. And you can basically talk in a conversational way to your Google Sheets. So I can basically say, hey, give me all the information from this sheet, or please add this to this Google Sheet. That kind of tasks I can add to um, Google Sheets through talking um, to Claude. All right, that's number three. So the next agent is um, not really an agent, it's basically an explanation of how you can add 6,000 scrapers to your AI agents. I don't know if you know Apify, but it's basically a website or a platform with a lot of scrapers already in it. So 
they have TikTok scrapers, Google Map scrapers, Instagram scrapers, and you can basically add that to your workflow to get the right information. So Apify has a native community node in um, NATN. So if you search for Apify, um, I have it installed already, um, you will see the Apify node, you click on it, and then you can click on install and it will install this uh, nodes within your NATN instance. What you then need is you need a scraper. So you can basically go to Apify and say, all right, I need a Instagram scraper. For example, you can try it out or you can make an account. Then um, when you open the actor, you can basically from the list add a Google Maps scraper or a LinkedIn scraper or whatever you need. Then it will run. You can do something with the data or you can put a trigger on it that it needs to fetch this data daily, for example. Um, and when the actor is done, you need to get the database items from the results that the actor um, fetched. So basically, if this node has run, you will, you will have an ID. And that ID you can put in your next node to retrieve all the data from the scraper. And this way, you can basically add all the Apify scrapers over 6,000 to your NNN workflow. All right, that's number four. Then we have number five, which is a very small workflow, but very important. Because if you have 25 plus AI agents running in your business, you need to log errors the right way. Otherwise, you don't know which AI agents get stuck or AI agents that don't work. Also, if you have AI agents working for clients, you want to know what errors you will get. So basically, you have a native error trigger in NATN. It's over here. And what it does, you can basically add this to a workflow. And then in the next node, you can add it to Google Sheets. How that works is if you have this automation uh, running, you go to the three dots over here, you go to settings, and you see here error workflow to notify when this error, um, um, when it's errors. So basically then you can add the workflow you want to add the or error log to. And every time that workflow gets stuck, get an error or does something strange, you will get a notification in Google Sheets. The great thing is, is that you can also add Google Chat, for example, or Slack, that you will get a message instantly when errors pop up into your automations. And this way you can make sure that you are always, always on top of your automations if something, if something breaks, that you can fix it before um, yeah, any harm is done. So to sum up, we have the Gmail label, labeling agent, we have the email summary agent, we have the Google Sheets Assistant, the Apify agents, and we have the error log agents. Those are the five which are very important in my business right now. Do, would you like to download these agents for free? Please comment five below and I will send the link to you where you can download this for free. Thank you very much for watching.